Hello everyone, this is Game Set Funk and welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be looking at an outline for a course in GIMP. So GIMP, as you know, is an image editing tool uh, as powerful as Photoshop. Let's say um, it has most of the features that you can do in Photoshop which you use, which means that the more advanced it gets, you need uh, to upgrade to more premium tools. So, what exactly we are looking at in this course is going to be the basics of GIMP. So, first off, in this episode, I'll be explaining all these. First, we'll be selecting things out of an image and moving them. Next, we'll be rotating and scaling to make use of uh, the vector art here. I'll, I'll just upload this image onto a Dropbox um, file and then you, you can download it there. And then we'll be looking at filling and selecting which uh, includes, um, let's say like, how do you add objects and subtract objects from a selection and we'll be talking about layers and text so that's basically what we are looking at today so let's get started so I got this image loaded first off when you open up GIMP it would look something like this so you go to windows single window mode and then it will snap to a single window and you can figure out these windows as you can see these these are channels gradients selection editor layers under history and tool options so most probably your tool options might be here you can use the the interface as per your like so you can look at brushes fonts and brush editors but then this is not that you know um, useful in this particular tutorial what we will be looking at is um, some of the tools that are here in the toolbox so um, let's let's get started and we'll look at what exactly we are doing in this. So we'll be creating this rectangle first. So I'll just create a new image and if you create a new image it will take the properties of the already existing image. So um, yes importing this image is like this file open and then you you go to desktop tutorial image open and then you'll get it so once you do that you can go to file new and it will show 151 and 293 so that is the resolution of this picture and that's it okay and then we have this new image so first off before starting anything we can we should go to channels and then you can see there are three channels available which makes the color of the image white but we need another channel which is transparency so let's go to layer transparency and alpha channel so this channel is very important in image editing when it comes to um, suppose here I created a cloud and then I send it back into the behind the building so that that is the effect of alpha layer so first off I'll be deleting the whole white color control A to select everything and delete you can either do that by you can also do that by drawing a rectangle from the rectangle select tool and pressing delete so the next thing we'll do is keep our layers tab open and then we'll call this 
we'll uh, double click on the layer to rename it and then and we'll, we'll call this buildings building so we'll be creating this building over here and then it will be in a separate layer so first off we'll create a base which will be a rectangle and since our rectangle select tool is already in select I'll just click and drag a small rectangle and after you draw it you can see that as you hover upon it you can move it so you click and drag to move it and after you position it you can even resize it using the handlers on on the sides of the selection so once you're done placing the selection you go to fill bucket tool and then fill it with black you can select your color here in the palette window and you can you can paint anything but since we're duplicating this I'll choose black you can do anything that you would like so so next we'll be creating this big blue building so for that we'll be we'll be having to learn the selection um, selection tool and that selection tool is a combination of all the selections so we have three selection tools these are main and fuzzy select and select by color tool are uh, two flexible different color uh, selection tools so once I select the rectangle tool and just click and drag and you zoom in by pressing control and scroll in and the same as scroll out so I I take the handler and push it to the ground and leave it so we have this rectangle so once we have this I'll take the fill bucket tool and I'll select a blue-ish color and then I'll fill it so we have our first building but then as you can see that we have this particular circle I mean rounded edge over here so how do you get that so that is made by the ellipse tool the ellipse tool is for drawing an ellipse and when you want a circle to be drawn you press shift you hold shift and then click and drag and then you can have a circle so I'll just make a circle here and place it there now we want to add a rectangle to the selection and we want to keep this circle as well as the rectangle so I'll press shift and as, it, as I press shift you can see the plus plus uh, sign on the cursor so I press shift and take the rectangle tool zoom in make sure that we are drawing exactly where we want and once, we, once I draw a rectangle I can draw it to the ground and expand it and once I'm done with that I'll draw another rectangle again holding shift holding shift and doing this so we have our building here
and then we can go to fill bucket tool and fill so we have our rounded edge over here and the same can be done for the for this end except that I created I made a, a smaller circle for this one now we'll talk about the eraser tool so since I want to erase the part when I draw this circle I'll go here and draw, I'll draw a circle and position it and once I position it I press Control and I which would invert my selection and now I'll go to eraser this one will erase to transparency so once I select that and click over here you can see that we created a round edge there now we have our basic shape of the building and before going into the next um, next part of the building I'll just create a new layer you create a new layer by coming to the layer tab and creating a new layer and I'll call this sky or background you can call it anything and I'll go to fill bucket tool I'll pick a possibly lighter color and do this once I do this you can observe that we actually lost our building and why is that we created a new layer and this layer is on top of the building so this is how layers work if I click and drag the building onto the sky it comes upon the layer of the sky so this is how we create this cloud clouds behind the building and after the building so we'll be creating that to understand more about um, these layers so since we are done with that now it looks cool and we can proceed to create this gap so this gap we'll just go to the rectangle select tool and then draw a rectangle and then press delete and in case nothing happened and in case this happened to you that's because you're selecting the sky layer for editing you choose the billing layer for editing and then press delete then you can see that we have created our gap successfully and then with the same tool without without deselecting that we can go forward and create this outline in blue so with this selected I press control and this time the selection goes negative shift is for including another selection and control is for excluding another selection so I draw a rectangle over here and then we created this strip now I select a blue color and go to fill bucket tool fill and then we have created this strip so the next thing we'll be creating is actually is the same kind of method to create these all these and now I'll be telling you how to move things so I'll be moving I'll be moving this particular thing 
this particular gap that we created along with the strip and I'll be placing it as a door to the building so we'll be learning moving and scaling and rotating at the same time so once I select what I need to move I press Control, Shift and L at the same time and then you can see that it has it is being considered as a new new layer a floating selection and then I bring it over here and now I want to rotate it so I go to rotate tool click on it and then I need to rotate it an angle of 90 so I press 90 over there and click rotate so you can see that it rotated and now I can go back to the move tool the move tool over here and place it like this but then this this is a big door to the building so we'll scale it down for the scale tool or you can use the shortcut shift plus T and then click over here now there is this scale window so here we are if we do this it's hard to make out whether the width and height are in the same proportion or not so when you click on this you lock width and, width and height that way you will be able to create the same proportion and scale it down zoom in and now you can press scale now we'll move it to the position where we want and click on click outside the layer so that it will be aligned and assigned to the building layer now since we want a hole inside this we go to the rectangle select tool again and do this and press delete there we go so we have our door and yeah the last thing we need to do is clouds so I'll, I'll be doing another thing I'll just copy this particular this this thing into our image which we created so that will be cool let's copy this press ctrl C for copy and ctrl V position it scale it down if you have to move it around position and then click there we go so it looks at least a little colorful then than the previous one so so now we'll be creating the clouds so with the selection tool we'll be using the ellipse tool for this we'll be dragging clicking and dragging and trying to make some basic shapes and then after you're done with that if you want to fill this gap you'll have to go for the rectangle select tool as well and then you do this so now you have a cloud and you switch foreground and background colors and bucket tool and paint there we go but this is not very long this is a cloud that we need to be aligning in another layer so with this selection selected I'll create a new layer I'll say clouds back 
and I'll just fill it. So now you can see that if I disable, you disable layers by clicking on the eye next to them. So if I disable these, I can see only the clouds back layer. So with the clouds back layer selected, I just move it here. And then since it is on the top of all the layers, it is on top. If I bring this back, it will be going back. So that way we are learning about how to create and align layers as per your requirement. So with that done, we can duplicate a layer by clicking on create a duplicate over here and then we'll edit the name of this double click on it to edit the name and we'll call this clouds front and this one would be forward and we'll be moving this over here so we can differentiate between the back cloud and the front cloud so that's basically it for the basics of the tools used in GIMP. I'll just see if I did not touch the other topics. Yes, I touched almost everything. So you can actually use um, these tools to basically make a infographic or any such idea that you have in, in a different cartoonish style and the last thing that I missed was text and so we'll just go to the top and then we'll click on the text tool and click and drag And when we click and drag, we'll just have this box and we can type whatever we want. And here in the tool options, you will be able to see what the tool is used for. I mean, uh, what are the properties of, of the tool? So here, here you can change the font. Here, using the handlers, you can resize the text. And you can reduce the font over here. And, and once you are done selecting, yeah, selecting a font, you can go for coloring, which which color you want the font to be. So I'll just black. And once you're done. Make sure that this uh, is done in when you press off the text, you press escape instead of um, just clicking like this because clicking like this might lead to a new layer of text. So press escape, and then you can see that this text has been allotted a new layer so I'll just uh, go to the move tool and drag it over to the center on the building and there we have it so this is you can even um, I'll just uh, talk about text along path in the next in a later tutorial where you can place text in a curve or 
um, any different path using the path tool so that is a cool feature and you can even take this layer and and you can like make the font make a picture um, behind the font instead of instead of just color you can add a picture for the font so that is uh, another cool feature that we can use so that's it for this tutorial i'll be seeing you in my next tutorial this is games with fang signing out